Creating and publishing a great story is only half the picture. Analyzing its performance is the key to improving your results next time. Turtle provides a range of analytics dashboards to help with this. When you open Turtle, you'll see the company dashboard. This provides you with an overview of all your content, so you can see collectively how it is performing, with things like number of readers, shares, and signups. The headline metrics for each of your stories is listed in the table below, so you can see which is performing best. To find out more about how a particular story is performing, visit the story dashboard by selecting it from the table. View the story's key headline metrics, such as reads, readers, and shares at the top of the page. Reads and Readers tells you how many times your story has been read and how many people have read it. A reader needs to take an action such as turning the first page to be counted as a read. If they don't take any action, they'll be counted as a bounce, which is shown here. When a reader completes a lead capture form on the back page, or within an Immerse level, they are shown as a sign-up here. If a reader shares your story using the share buttons within the content, that will be counted here. You can also see how readers are accessing your stories. Discover how people opened your content. Did they click on a story link direct, for example, from an email, or did they come from your website or a social network? Using this data can help you decide where promoting your story is working best. Find out what device people are using to read your stories. Are they viewing on a desktop or a mobile and tablet? See where your readers are located physically. Perhaps you're targeting a particular market and would like to see if your content is starting to make an impact. You can also filter this data by using the drop-down menus at the top of the page. You now know how many people read your story, how they are reading it and where they are. Now things get really interesting. Discover how your content is performing chapter by chapter, how many people read it, how long they spent reading and when they shared. For each chapter, review how many readers viewed each surf level, the percentage that chose to click into the Immerse content and how long they spent reading by looking at the average Immerse time. You can find out how readers are interacting with the various elements within your content by looking at the interactions table. For example, see how many times an image has been clicked, a URL has been visited, or a video has been watched and for how long. You can even see how an individual reader has consumed your content. View a list of any known readers, how many stories they have read, and for how long. To become a known reader, they must have completed an action which identifies them. For example, they have completed a lead capture form, received a personalised URL, entered a password to read the story, or you have a CRM integration. Select a reader from the table to view their individual reader dashboard, and you'll find all of those valuable analytics just for that one person. Because your story is live, any changes you make are reflected in real time, so you can react to your analytics and help your story perform even better. And it's important to remember that even if your content hasn't performed as well as you'd hoped, this is still valuable information. By being able to tell which topics are engaging your readers the most and which topics are unsuccessful, you can tailor your content to be more relevant to your readers and save valuable time by focusing on content that works.